This is a Snake News exclusive. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a very special man. He was a U.S. attorney. He is a two-term governor of New Jersey and the chairman of the Republican, gov uh, the Republican Governors Association. He's a true American who knows how to make the tough decisions to move this country forward. Standing here in front of our schools and small businesses, without any further ado, I present to you the man who is ready to take care of business, a man of character, experience, and passion, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Christie. I'd like to thank everyone here for coming out today, especially on this cold winter January day. <laughs> There's business that needs to be taken care of in America. I am a blessed American here today with my lovely wife Mary and our four beautiful children. But when I look into the future of America for our kids, it is bleak. Too many years of overspending, corruption, and irresponsibility of our federal government have gotten us to where we are today. But gathering here marks the first step to change that. I have fought these issues before, and I will continue this fight. I am proud to lead this battle with the support of my family and friends as I campaign for the office of the President of the United States. <laughs> I was born in New Jersey and raised by a Republican father and a Democratic mother. Imagine what those dinner table conversations were like. But truth be told, hearing and understanding both sides made me the politician and the person I am today. I was raised in a Roman Catholic home, which gave me the moral values I pride myself on and instill in my children every single day. I listen to my constituents, and I know what needs to be done. I'm focusing on corruption, the economy, education, and tackling gridlock in our Congress. I built my career on integrity. As New Jersey's U.S. Attorney District Attorney, sorry, I worked vehemently to make our streets safer by convicting sex traffickers and gangs and making our government more transparent by fighting political corruption. These are the ideals I live by today and will take to Washington as your future president. I built my career on fiscal responsibility. In New Jersey, we've had five balanced budgets in a row, $2.3 billion in tax cuts, and 140,000 new private sector jobs and an employment rate that's gone from 9.7% to 6.5%. <laughs> I've built my career on equal opportunity. Education is every citizen's right, and access to education gives us the equal opportunity that we need to succeed. I fought for the right to a good education through tenure form and teacher evaluations to make sure our kids are getting the best education possible. The government's job is to help the people. The government's job is to help you. The government should be responsive to crises, and I applaud FEMA for being there with me as I help my fellow New Jerseyans through Super Storm Sandy. I went to Obama for help because I put my constituents before party politics. I promise that I will be a president of you, the people of this great nation. The fact of the matter is, is our economy needs to be taken care of. President Obama increased our budget deficit by six billion dollars. The, so <laughs> the so-called Affordable Care Act has failed us. And what was Obama's response? To raise our taxes. We need tax cuts for small businesses that are the foundation of our society. We need to cut taxes for everyone. And we need to control our spending so Washington doesn't waste our money. Let me stress this. I am not a normal politician. I get results. I'm not here just to fill a role. I'm here to take care of business. Please join me in my quest to take America back from Washington and let me restore your faith in the greatness of the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you and God bless America. Okay. Governor Christie will now take a few questions. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm a journalist from Snake News, and uh, Governor, recent polls have shown a more stable situation after a steep fall in your rate of approval, which fell from a, an astonishing 78% to 44% uh, in your state, uh, especially after a Bridgegate and Sandygate issues. Uh, is that how you get results? And why are you, step, why are you not stepping down for another Republican candidate? 
after losing 30% less than one year. Well, a lot of that had to do with incorrect media ties that connected me to Bridgegate. Bridgegate was caused in, is in the investigation of uh, being uh, learned about through two of my own employees, which I promptly fired after, after I learned of their connection, one of which was my deputy chief of, chief of staff, Bridget Ann Kelly. In an email she sent to a co-worker, it has strong ties that it was her who actually worked on making the traffic jam in the George Washington Bridge. And of course, I've been completely responsible with the government and completely cohesive in telling them that I had nothing to do with this and also very conducive to their own questions. I've never failed to answer questions and a study that was done that said I'm not responsible for it. So the Bridgegate issue was caused by irresponsible media reporting that I was at fault when in fact it was just two staffers who tried to make it worse for their own citizens. Next question, yes. Isn't it ironic that you're fighting against political corruption, whereas you're seriously accused of misappropriation of public funds? In which way? In the way that misappropriation of public funds can be very dishonest as well as corruption. I have absolutely never mismanaged public funds. If you could speak of an incident, I might be able to answer your question, but the general idea that I've mismanaged, I can promise you that I never have. Next question, please. So it says that the series is found in the absence of the same ocean as the New York, that you that you took uh, public funds which were supposed to help the, the victims of the same ocean. So what do you have to I absolutely never took public funds from the people of Hurricane Sandy. If anything, I'm known for working with President Obama, a Democrat, and me, a Republican, to get things done and get Sandy fixed. I have never, in any instance, mismanaged public funds that would have taken away support and help from my fellow New Jerseyans. Okay, I believe you have time for one last question, if there is one. Does the press have any more questions? So well, some say that you're too close to Barack Obama as a, uh, a Republican. Cannot be this close to democracy as uh, we saw when we congratulated uh, Obama so what are your to answer to those critics, which is that you're too moderate to be a candidate? It's ironic that you say too moderate to be a candidate. Um, but first off, I, I helped Obama because we needed to fix the, new fix the fact that Hurricane Sandy demolished my state. And if it's working with a Democrat, then I will absolutely go forth and do that. Bipartisan politics and letting all that politics crap get in the way of helping our own citizens is exactly why there's a gridlock in Congress and I'm going to tackle it. I agree that we need to work with the Democrats as well, even if we don't see the, that idea as the right for our country. And to not help my citizens just because Barack Obama is from a different party would be absolutely ridiculous and quite a name. So I feel that what I did was right by using our federal government as a tool to help my state. Thank you very much. That is all the time we have. Chris Christie for president. Thank you.